what's up guys? My name is Josue. Welcome back to Levita Josue. So today is a super exciting day because today we're at Elworks Brewery in Williamsburg, Virginia. And I want to shout out Elworks Brewery for inviting us out to try not one, not two, but all of their f***ing beers. So get ready for this special episode of Beer Me Bro. Beer Me Bro. Here at Elworks Brewery. So stick around and watch this video. Hey, Beer Me Bro. So as I mentioned before, they're gonna let us try every single beer that they have. We got a setup here of three different flights, one six, one six, one four, and these are not small flights. These are pretty thick glasses, so I'm a little nervous because this may be the most beer that we've drank on an episode of Beer Me Bro, but what better place to do it than here at Elwick's Brewery in Williamsburg. So as usual, I got Evan here with me to drink these beers with me, and we're about to get started. So like he said, man, thank you once again, Elwick's Brewery. This is amazing. I'm glad we get to have this opportunity. Get the camera out of my face. We're, we're drinking now, all right? And as you can see we're starting off with four and then we're gonna move up to six so it looks like the first one on the list is the mainstream credentials cherry sour ale let's get it all right so right now we're gonna try the mainstream credentials cherry ale I'm not the best fan of sours, but that was fucking amazing, dude. First beer, I'm excited. So we're gonna go ahead and just roll into beer number two. This is the Lover's Greed Barrel Aged American Sour. Y'all have seen beer me, bro. I'm not the biggest fan of sours either, but anything barrel aged, that's for me. Ooh, okay, that is sour. It's definitely got that barrel aged flavor. So, uh, what, you, what you think? Ooh, that let's was good. not <laughs> f around anymore, baby. Hey, look, we got too many beers, so let's get on to number three. Go ahead and beer me, bro. Hey, beer me, bro. Yo, so you guys remember that first Beer Me Bro video, the pumpkin ale video, and that pumpkin latte? Remember I told you about that beer? Well, it's back, baby. And we get to try it on tap, son. Mm. What we say before? What we say before? Hey, Motherfucking yeah. Starbucks. <laughs> 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 this is the one right here, son. It's like I said before, pumpkin pie in a motherfucking bottle, son. Or tap, really, this time. Look at this beautiful amber color. I can't say it enough. Beer me, bro. So we're gonna end this fight with a banger. You already know this is the more facts, less feelings. Facts. And it's an IPA with Nelson Chauvin and Cashmere Hops. Let's motherfucking get it. Oh, you already know what this smell like. Smell like that ganja, baby. Look at that beautiful hazy color. Let's go ahead and take a sip. Oh. That's it. We might have let these sit out just a little bit because they are getting a little bit warm, so we gotta run through these. This is number four out of 16. On to the second flight. Beer me, bro. How you feeling, bro? How you feeling? You feeling good? Are you f***ed up yet? Hey, beer me, bro. Beer me, bro. What are you talking about? We in here, baby. We're starting the second flight off with the weekend lager because it's f***ing Saturday. It's a motherfucking weekend. We out here. Don't look at me like that. Like it. Light. Not too strong. Not too light. But light. Because it's the weekend. Light day. Hold on, bro. I'm not about to let you have a light weekend without me having a light taste. That is light. That is super light, actually. I like lagers. I, no, no shade to lagers. They're usually a little bit too light for my taste, but this isn't bad. Hey, check it out, bro. Saturdays. Come on now. Bear me, bro. All right, so it's my turn next. This is probably one of Elwork's most popular beer in the area, the Chesapeake Pale Ale. And here, matter of fact, no. Here, we get this one. Here, we get this one, Ricky, because I love this beer. Let's get it. Oh, it's like that. Oh, you're just gonna spill it on yourself. Hey, bear me, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, beer number seven, superb IPA, American IPA. I love American IPA, so I know this is about to be bomb. And you know what? He didn't let me try the last one, so he's not gonna try this one. Hey, beer me, bro. Hey, press with me, bro. <laughs> Hold on real quick. We were supposed to wait till we finished the beers to eat the pretzel. Homie can't even wait to crush the pretzels yet. By the way, these pretzels are made in-house with this delicious beer cheese. Can we get through the goddamn beers first? All right, so next we have the Tavern Brown Ale, which is an American brown ale, as you can tell. So, oh, shit. Yo, no bullshit. Look, there's a little bug in there. Say it won't. Say less. What's bug but a little bit of protein, babe? Hey. They're starting to get a little warm from sitting out in the sun. Hey, beer me, bro. Can't tell because the sun. I can't tell because the sun. That looks kind of dark. Hold up. I'm sorry, but I can't <laughs> let you. <laughs> Four, eight. What'd I say? Dark beers are for me. All right, I'm gonna let you have it. I'm gonna let you have it. Come on now. <laughs> you know me and coffee beers. <laughs> Damn, Loki, I wanted another sip of that shit. <laughs> that shit was good, son. Yo, so that was the practical porter, robust porter, coffee styles, porters, dark beers. Love them. I don't care what they are, just, just love them. I got that one. Hurts my heart. I gotta let them have the pumpkin ale. This isn't just like a brewery that's just doing IPAs or just doing ales or pale ales. It's like you, you guys are seeing this, right? It's every single kind of beer they got right here. It's on this flight. It's from the tab. Next up is the pumpkin ale. Hey, beer me, bro. Hey, man. Hey, bro, stop fing with me, bro. Just because Halloween's over doesn't mean that pumpkin season is over because we're still in harvest season, right? Bring on the pumpkin beers. We've had it before. It's delicious. It's pumpkin. Let me sip this motherfucker real fast. <laughs> hey, throw it back, bro. Hey, throw it back, bro. I can't, bro. If I fall, I can't get back up. Mm. Hey, can you get a shot of this real quick? Look at us. 
I'm a little buzzed. All right, so we're getting to the last six. About to set it off. The first one on flight number three is the Maisie's ESB. So the ESB stands for extra special bitter. The marketing manager told me that it's not specifically too bitter, but packs like a great taste. I'm about to try it right now. Man, he wasn't lying. Like, it's not bitter at all. Really delicious. It almost kind of got like that red ale taste to it. This bit me, bro. Come on now. Oh, we just want to thank the staff, by the way, inviting us to have all their delicious beer here. So, why, well, hey guys, how are you? Come visit us at Aleworks. Please do, because they rock. If there's two things that I love in this world one, pumpkin, two, barrel aged beers. This is a barrel aged imperial pumpkin ale. And I'm sorry, Evan, but you don't get none of this shit. Have you ever had those uh, little coconut shred candies? Which I know this isn't coconut, but this is what it smells like. What you think, Evan? He's not lying, but you're also brave because you put the beer in my hand. Lord knows I might drink it. Oh, no. We know the smell. How's the taste? Oh my God. We spoke about the Warlock a couple videos, same pumpkin video, and all I said was like that specific bottle from Southern Tier seemed to have everything that I love in a beer in that specific bottle. But this is just, it's so delicious. I gotta share it. Hey, thank you, man. I, I don't know where I would be if you didn't let me try some of this beer, man. Come hey, on hey, now. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, beer me, bro. <laughs> That one was good. That one's definitely beating a lot of the ones in the pumpkin video. Almost wish we had this one in that video, but we can't get it. You can only get it here at Aleworks. All right, guys, come on now. Josue got the bourbon barrel pumpkin ale. Okay, cool, whatever. He did, let me try it. This is the rum barrel. And you know what? I'll be generous and I'll let him try it too. I don't know which one's better, rum or bourbon. I love both of those. Hey, hold up though, bro. You gotta let me try that. I'll let you try. Excite? You know this. You know I love, come on, bro. You gotta, all right, there we go, there we go. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. I gotta agree. I don't know which one's better. Hey, beer me, bro. I voted today. Whoa, chill, yo. We don't do politics here. No, 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 no. The name of the beer is called I Voted Today. Oh, hold up. Are you serious? I got the fact. Oh, he ain't lying. I voted today. Bro, I was about to say, hey, yo, yo. We don't do that here. But we do. <laughs> I like a good pale ale, and I love a good citra flavor. I'm a really big hazy IPA fan, and this one's basically like a hazy IPA and a pale ale put together. Hey, beer me, bro. All right, so we're narrowing it down to the last two. This is the Coffee House beer here at Aleworks. Let's go ahead and try it. The Shack Face, ooh. This is delicious. Think about coffee and then nothing else. Wake up in the morning, make a pot of coffee, this is what you get. So, we're 15 beers in. We got one left. I think it's only right that we split the next one. So, beer me, bro. All right, so we've been trying beers all day. And again, I just got a shout out Aleworks for inviting us to come out here and try them. But this last beer, it's not just any old beer on the flight. This is actually Aleworks' most newest special release that they're just releasing today, which is their fun, old-fashioned, family Christmas. Christmas sale. So. And what better way to taste this beer than with your family? Hey, bro, you too close, man. <laughs> Marketing manager told us that this beer was just everything that you think about Christmas is right here in this beer. So this is first raw reaction. I'm so excited. Evan's excited. Let's go ahead and get it. Wait, don't speak yet. Let me try it. Let me try it. Christina Aguilera said many years ago, I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. This sounds like I'm Saint Nick in a bottle, baby. baby. This tastes like that Hispanic December 24th Christmas. Latino, this tastes like horchata in a beer. Merry Christmas, bro. Hey, thank you, bro. But beer me, bro. <laughs> So that is how you do an episode of Beer Me Bro at Aleworks Brewery in Williamsburg, Virginia. Again, everyone, I know that Beer Me Bro usually has that hype factor, but I just want to reiterate, you know, we're at a public place, so we're trying to adhere to social distancing. Uh, we're trying to watch the language because there's a lot of people around, there's a lot of children around, but we're still trying to give you that content. So again, I can't thank Aleworks enough for allowing us to come out here, inviting us, and letting us try all their delicious beers. None of those beers let me down today. Even the sours. I'm gonna put all of their information down in the description box below. Address, phone number, whatever it is. You name it! I got ales, <laughs> pails, tomatoes. <laughs> you guys already know the deal. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Make sure that you hit the bell so you're subscribed the next time that I post a video. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, bear me, bro. bro. Peace. I oh, do it, though. <laughs> <laughs> good as hell. Beer cheese. <laughs> you mad. <laughs> you mad. Hey, only way to keep it light on the weekends to drink 16 beers at one o'clock.